Herringbone is a really easy stitch and offers slinky, supple flexibility to your finished pieces. I was going to use size 8 rounds and decided they were too small. So I switched to um, some bigger crows, the beautiful glass beads, but that's why you see a change in beads here. I think the bigger beads are easier for you to see. You start out with four beads on your needle. Just pick up four beads. Pass your needle through the bottom of the first two beads that you added. You want to create a, a closed loop of four beads. We're going to make a ladder of, of uh, four sets of two. Pull your thread tight so you have a closed loop like this. You can see four beads together like that. Pass your needle through the last two beads that you added so you can get in the right position to add your next two, two beads. I flipped my work over, picked up two beads, and passed them through the bottom of uh, the beads that your thread is coming out of, so you're making a loop again. Those two beads will rest on top of the beads you just added. Pull tight and put your needle through the bottom of the last two beads that you just added to create a ladder of three. Flip your work over again, pick up two more beads, and put them through the last two beads you just added, top to bottom. So now you have a ladder of four sets of two beads. You're always working in pairs. Now we're going to reinforce this ladder by passing the needle through up and down through the sets of beads until you wind up at the opposite end of your tail. You'll see in the next set of pictures. How many rungs of ladders you have determines the width of your piece. I only used four here, but you can make it as wide as you want. Now we're ready to start adding length to our chain. Pick up two beads and pass them through the top of the set of the next two beads in the ladder. You're always working in pairs, remember? You're always going to pick up two beads. And you pull tight. You'll see the beads rest kind of on an angle to one another. That's the exact effect that you want. You want them to be a little cockeyed like that. That's exactly the way they should look. Bring your needle up through the bottom of the next pair of beads to get it in position to add your next two, your next pair of two. You always have to bring your needle up. Um, you'll see very soon that we'll be stepping up a lot like peyote. Pick up two beads and pass your needle through the top of the next two beads. Pull tight and you'll see that the two beads you just added are slightly, you know, off a little bit. That's the way they're supposed to look. Now we're going to step up to add our next row. For this first step up, you're going to bring your needle up through the bottom of the two beads resting on top of the bead you're exiting. So as you can see here in this picture, your needle is ending up in between the uh, last beads that you added. And now we're going to start our second row. Pick up two beads and pass your needle through the top of the bead next to the one that your thread is exiting. So the two beads that you're now adding will be in between of the two beads that you added before. They're going to end up cockeyed like the previous row. This is the look you want. You want them to be jig jaggedy like that. When you pull tight, you can see that they rest on top of the beads in the previous row in a you know zigzaggy, jig jaggedy fashion. Before you can add your next set, you need to bring your needle up through the very next bead. So you're working bottom to top, top to bottom, like that. You're adding beads on top and getting ready to add beads from the bottom. After you brought your needle up, pick up two beads and put your needle through the top of the next bead in the row 
so that the two beads you just added are resting on top of the previous row. Pull tight and this is what you should have. This is pretty much what it should look like. We're stepping up again to start our third row. This time you only need to step up one bead and that would be the last bead in your row as you can see here. Just bring your needle up in between um, the two beads you just added so that you're right in the middle of them. Pick up two beads and bring your needle down through the next bead in your row so that the two beads you're just adding are resting on top. Bring your needle up, pull tight, and pick up two more beads. Bring your needle down and pull tight. Step up, rinse and repeat. Step up, rinse and repeat. No, not really. But you do, you do need to keep stepping up until you get to the length that you need. The next picture is just some sections of bracelets I've made. I used an uneven count of ladder stitches so I could put inclusions in the middle, as you can see. Uh, Beadwork Magazine has a great tutorial on this as well. You can search their site and find it. Have a great day. Have fun beading. Beat the world.